Why, thank you, Steven Universe. Just thanks. You just had to make me look like a fool after I posted my Lars video. Thank you. After all the hard work I put into making my videos, you just gotta disregard it all. Now, seriously, 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 that is it SDCC, San Diego Comic Con, yeah, that trailer was awesome, it, w it was freaking awesome, a part of me hated it because it completely debunked what I said, because I went back to the video and titled it debunked, but it was awesome, I'm actually having to remember the trailer off head right now, because we have electricity issues here in Africa, so we don't have light right now, but from what I remember seeing, um, Stephen and Connie are trying to go and get Lars. Stephen is talking about how Lars is alone and afraid and his parents put together a care package for him. So that means Stephen has come and told everyone, okay, Lars is still there. And Connie is just excited to go into space. This she said, um, Connie, Stephen and Connie in space, or Connie and Stephen in space. And I have a fan art made by um, a beautiful viewer. At I can't remember his um, YouTube name, but I only remember his personal name, so I don't want to put that out there. But he did a fan art for my channel back when I did Fan Art Friday of Connie and Space. And I might tag it, I might retag it so it gets more popularity. But um, Connie was able to enter Lion's Main. So, so far, only Paradot and Connie were able to. So maybe the people that are able to enter the main are those who Steven those whose hands even hold or help them in or something so they get in and they pop out through Lars's hair and he's just sleeping and the way they come out is just so weird and Lars is just sleeping he just looks awkward and I'm like wait what am I seeing right now it's like we just fell into a 70s sci-fi comedy special I know some people are gonna say maybe Star Trek I haven't really watched the series I watched one movie and I loved it but Lars is just this space pirate it's so cool he has this confidence he said bingo bango oh my god it's just uh, how many times have i just said it's just so amazing for Lars to have so much confidence it's amazing for him to look like this but something just felt off and wrong i don't know how much i like this trailer no it's not because it depends my theory but i just don't know you guys something just feels wrong about this version of Lars he's the the home world and everything how they snuck in and stole the spaceship which was an option I'm glad for those people who theorized that was a way out you guys won this time he stole a spaceship and there's this emerald gem and is it that Lars is a badass that can fight now because okay my brain sorry between that time between the time Steven left and he came back, I pray it wasn't that long. I pray it was a day or two because if Steven left for like a week or something, I will be super pissed. But he left for a little while or something and now Lars is like this. And Lars says that he snuck in and stole her um, Emerald's fastest ship and no one saw them. Do they have a cloaking mechanism now? I don't, I, I don't get it. I want to see it. I want to understand. But... I don't like that it turned into a sci-fi adventure. I liked everything, but I also didn't like it. How does that make sense, people? Someone explain this to me. I am confused. Also, this video is not scripted, just so you know. What else did I, do I remember? Um, Stephen and Connie were really impressed by that. And then the trailer aspect of the trailer came in. The people don't know if you call this a teaser or a trailer. A teaser is anything that's less than 30 seconds. Anything that's more than that's around 2 minutes, it's, it's a trailer. Wait, what did I say? Anyway, we have Connie looking upset and talking about like things aren't alright because Steven's trying to say we're alright, everything's alright. Maybe at that point Lars is still in space and Connie is finally understanding understanding the gravity of the situation. Steven sometimes can repress everything. Maybe in his head now he realized, okay, my mom couldn't have done it, so yay, everything is, has gone back to the way it was. No, Steven, he don't, he doesn't get it. He shouldn't have just been. Ugh. It's just like back in the Adventures in Light Distortion, 
where he was so brash and everything that's how he was acting in the wanted he was just like i did it it's my fault give me the punishment oh that's a good steven universe impression and it's just so annoying like steven would you just stop and think and now from his actions he doesn't want to think about it steven is becoming a crystal gem through and through he's not his actions have reactions and then you have to think about the crystal gems before steven with all the romina and everything if steven wasn't around how would the crystal gems handle a lot of the things even the cluster the earth wouldn't be here if it wasn't for steven but now he's becoming like them that the earth is even in more danger than it ever was and we see sadie is just torn up about it either the either this scene of sadie sadie was before she learned was before Stephen went back to go and check up on Lars or after he told her that Lars has a new life in space now and he has no intentions of coming back because the way it looks to be I don't know if Lars plans on coming back because Homeworld is in another galaxy but if he's stealing ships that means he's trying maybe he's trying to fly to earth with the off colors because they don't have anywhere else to go and isn't it terrifying to think that homeworld has so many colonies so so like in so many places that anywhere you go you meet them Ugh. they showed Lars's parents and then steven was like he tried to save everyone but he saved no one and i'm like you idiot why do you think this way Ugh. i just uh i just want to pound his brain in Ironic, because that's something my boyfriend says to me. <laughs> but I get why he says that. And you should get why I say this as well. Steven is an idiot. But after all that, um, I can't remember where else did that trailer go. Oh yeah, um, I think Steven was asking Pearl about things that Homeworld did. And Pearl was like, there's some things you just can't say or something like that. Like, what can't you say, Pearl? What happened that is so deep? that can't be revealed but she says she would try and explain it oh yeah greg was the one asking that he doesn't understand their society or their hierarchy or anything because greg has tried to keep out of it as much as possible but dude you were with rose for a long time well rose did say she has some dark past we see i remember seeing a picture of somebody like the crystal gems were surrounding them maybe maybe the other gems we don't see are bigs and crazy legs because we see business 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 I always trip up on that name. Then the gem in the middle has a diamond on the stomach. So that's pink diamond. So... Ah, okay. <laughs> they say they say Rose shattered pink diamond. But because of Pearl's reaction, a lot of people think Pearl did it. But Garnet was okay with it. But here we see Garnet. We see all of them there. So was this the point where pink diamond was shattered? But it can't be. Because Bismuth doesn't know what happened she had the breaking point and everything but if business had a hand in breaking pink diamond don't you think she'd know or because rose bubbled her up because she didn't want to shatter anyone so obviously she bubbled business before any shattering took place because if business shattered pink diamond she would be so happy about it she would talk about how it helps their cause um i remember a tweet that said um jasper and business are coming back so that's gonna be awesome to see because the crystal gems now have to recruit as many people as they can to help them to fight for their side um lapis was freaking out about how you ran from the diamonds they're gonna take out their anger on this planet and i was like weren't they already doing that with the cluster so now you think they're gonna come back and say, oh, you know what, the heck with the cluster, let's just rip this planet apart. Like, the diamonds have been trying to get after Earth for so long that you'd think they'd think it wasn't possible by now. But, a new corruption song is kind of useless because I really think all the diamonds here were wiped out, which doesn't make sense to me. The diamonds did a corruption song, like, that basically erased or killed off or whatever all the gems on Earth except for Garnet pearl and rose and amethyst popped out later so when they did that was the cluster already in the ground because that means they didn't leave earth alone they had their eyes on earth and they will have their eyes on Earth. it's kind of like yeah it's kind of like a power struggle or something where they feel like because they have the power they have the right to do whatever they want this thing is theirs and they will never leave it alone no matter how hard you try so Oh, this, 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 this trailer was awesome. What else? Yeah, Lapis was yelling that, you guys ran away from the diamonds? How could you? Oh my god. And Lapis was like, I'm not going to get caught up in another war. 
um, we see cool action shots and then Paradot is there like this is our home shouldn't we fight for it and then we see the picture of the sky I think Lapis ran away because if you guys remember Lapis has no attachment to this planet and if she ran away that would be beautiful storytelling and development but for now people don't know it could be that she ran away realized everything and came back which would also be awesome to see that would be cool but yeah this was awesome if I see anything or if there's any new trailer I'll try and talk about that in a little video anything I left out I'm trying to talk about things in succession more because I am really out of the game of reviewing things you guys and the videos I make take a little longer and I don't like how I'm falling so behind in things and recent events but please bear with me we'll get through this I love you guys thanks you all so much for being here so much for loving me I don't know what I do without you beautiful viruses and as always don't forget to read my books on what pass follow me on patreon and follow me on twitter and as always don't forget to like comment subscribe and stay awesome this is TVC signing out